Welcome to Devati Modi Public School. This is subject mathematics of class 3rd and today we are going to study about chapter 11 geometry. In this chapter we are going to study about point, line segment, line, ray and plane shapes. Now what is a point? A tiny dot represents a point. It has no length, breadth or depth. Means a dot, a small dot represents a point and it has no length a dot has no length no breadth and no depth example the brown dot represents point a the blue dot represents point b the green dot represents point c and the orange dot represents point d now what is a line segment a line segment has two end points it has a fixed length a line segment starts from a point and ends at a point. Another point. We cannot extend the line further from any one of the point. So here AB is a line segment. Point A and B are the two end points. From these two points we cannot extend the line in any direction. Okay. Now what is a line? A line has no end point, it has no fixed length. Means we can, no, we can extend the line endlessly in both the directions from the given points. Like here AB is a line. So from point A and point B, we can extend the line in both the directions. So it has no end point. Now what is a ray? A ray is a part of line which can be extended endlessly in one direction. It has one end point. In the given figure, a ray, PQ is a ray and P is a fixed point from which we cannot extend the line. But Q is not fixed, we can extend the line in this direction. From point P we can uh, extend the line in the direction it has only one point that is point B now how we will measure the length of a line segment to measure the length of a line segment we need a ruler a ruler is used now how we will use the ruler in the given figure, we have to measure the line segment AB. Now place the tip of the ruler at the starting point of the line segment. Read the number of the scale where the line segment ends. Means place the tip of the ruler at the starting point A and then read the scale where the line segment ends that is point B. In this case, it comes out 6, means the given line segment is of 6 cm. Okay, now with the help of ruler, we can measure many more line segments. Now, we will discuss about some plane shapes. Plane shapes means the shapes which we can draw on the paper. Like first one is rectangle. A rectangle is a figure which has four sides, four corners and four corners or vertices. Opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. Means a rectangle has four sides with four corners and their opposite sides are of equal length, equal measurement. Now second is square. A square is a closed figure. It has four sides and four vertices and all the sides of a square are also equal all the sides of a square are equal now triangle third is triangle it has three vertices and three sides in a triangle it is also a closed figure there are three vertices and three sides in a triangle now the next is circle Circle is a closed figure or curve. It does not have any corner or side. It is a closed figure. 
there are no there are no line segments so it is it does not have any corner or side okay students thank you